Today on App Judgment, keep your personal info safe and out of the wrong hands with the password managers for the iPhone. This episode of App Judgment is brought to you by Netflix. Hey everyone, it's Annie and welcome to App Judgment, your source for mobile app reviews from Revision 3. By popular demand, today we're going to take a look at password managers for the iPhone. Maybe not the most sexy topic, but one that you should all drop everything and pay attention to. Why? Your personal security could be at stake. At this point, you probably have accounts with at least 25 million different websites. Some that you use every day, like Gmail or Facebook, and some that you log into less frequently. And your info is scattered all across the web. And over time, you've probably accumulated so many codes and passwords that you're not even sure where they are. I know that every time I try and do a little online banking, I end up having to dig through old emails to find my login info. Total pain. This is why you need a password manager. And there are quite a few out there, ranging broadly in price. So our viewer Taz suggested a comparison between 1Password and Password Wallet, two of the better known password managers. 1Password is free with an $8 Pro version, while Password Wallet is $5. So I wondered what free gets you with the password manager and whether that's all you really need. 1Password, the free version, I liked right off the bat because of the mandatory unlock code feature and the background graphic, which for whatever reason makes it feel more secure. Once you're inside the app, you can add new login info by typing in the website manually or choosing from the list of templates popular destinations like Amazon, Facebook, Yahoo, etc. I really appreciated that this sped up the tedious task of corralling all your online passwords. You can also add wallet items like your credit card, driver's license, social security info, passport, etc. It's very convenient to have all this sensitive info in one place, but how secure is it? Well, you can add a master password that you apply to certain items. I like this added sense of security in the unlikely event that a bad guy cracks your four-digit passcode. Coming up next, what does $5 get you in a password manager? But first, let's thank our sponsor. App Judgment is brought to you by Netflix. Netflix delivers movies directly to your home, saving you time and money. As a Netflix Unlimited member, you get DVDs by mail in about one business day. Plus, you can instantly watch thousands of TV episodes and movies streams directly to your PC, Mac, or right on your TV via a Netflix-ready device like PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, and soon the Nintendo Wii console. As a new member and an App Judgment viewer, you get a free trial membership. Just go to netflix.com slash AJ and sign up now. Be sure to use this URL so they know we sent you. So today we're looking at one cheap and one not so cheap password manager for the iPhone. I haven't used 1Password Pro, the $8 version of 1Password, but to me the free version seems perfectly good. There's also a desktop version of the software, but you don't need an account with them to use the app as a standalone. Password Wallet is $4.99, and like 1Password, you can add a master password to protect all your data, which you then must type in before viewing or editing any of it. Once you're in, you can view your items by title, URL, username, and a number of other ways. You can also search, add new items along with category tags, and of course, visit the website within their own browser. However, the process of adding new items felt a bit disorganized to me, and there's no accommodation for non-web personal data like bank numbers or driver's license info, so I'm not sure where the wallet aspect comes in. The pros to password wallet are, I guess, the added layer of security you get by having a master password that you must enter to do anything. It's also fairly easy to back up your information or export files so you have them elsewhere also encrypted. The cons are that it felt less organized to me and will run you five whole dollars. One password, on the other hand, gives you a better user experience in my opinion, templates and wallet items to expedite adding personal info, and an extra master password that's customizable per item. Since it's free, I'm going to recommend downloading 1Password. If you're someone with vast quantities of sensitive personal data, you might benefit from the superior search and categorization functions in Password Wallet. However, for the every iPhone user who just wants to keep all your codes safe and in one place, I say save yourself five bucks and download 1Password only. If you have any other password managers you like, or if there's anything else you'd like to see us review, send us an email at appjudgment at revision3.com. You can also find us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube or on our homepage at revision3.com slash appjudgment. And as always, you can find me on Twitter at Annie Gauss. Thanks for watching.